breaking news out of Tasmania, and uh, if you live in Tasmania, you'll be, be particularly interested in this because you might have to vote twice in as many months. Let's go live to Trudy McIntosh. Now, I'm not talking about the referendum, mm. Trudy. I'm talking about a possible snap election in Tasmania. What's going on? Yeah, Laura, Tasmanians are not actually meant to head to the polls again until 2025 for their state election, but we are facing the very real prospect that that could happen much earlier in the next few months or so. That's because Premier Jeremy Rockliffe has just released a statement threatening to dissolve the parliament on Monday at 9am unless this impasse with his former Attorney General, Elise Archer, is resolved once and for all. She was uh, she quit as Attorney General on Friday amid a series of allegations, uh, allegations of bullying within her own office. There was a leaked text message scandal. Initially, she said she would stand down from her seat in state parliament. She changed her mind and then threatened to vote in a no-confidence motion against the Premier. Now, it's a minority government at the moment down in Tasmania, the last remaining Liberal government we have right across the country. Uh, given how tight the numbers are, her threat to uh, trigger a no-confidence motion is quite significant. She said she's potentially willing to provide confidence to a Liberal Premier as long as it's not Jeremy Rockliffe. Well, enter this statement from him just a few minutes ago, threatening to uh, really uh, hold the whole state hostage as to whether she decides to pull the pin. She, he says this morning he wrote to Elise Archer and respectfully requested that she advise Tasmanians of her decision as to whether she remains in Parliament or not by 9am on Monday. He goes on to add, but at the end of the statement, if he does not receive a decision by 9am Monday morning, he'll have no other option to, than to request the Governor dissolve the Parliament and issue the writs for a general election. Incredibly messy messy town in there in Tasmania, Laura. Uh, this is now a very public game of chicken between the two, whether we will see Elise Archer come to a decision mm. one way or another, or whether this is the impetus to trigger a move within his own party room to challenge him to try and stabilise the situation to ensure that the voters don't have to head to the polls early. Yeah, look, it's really interesting. 9am uh, Monday, we will know one way or another and we'll keep all our Tasmanian viewers posted. He seems pretty relaxed about things, I've got to say. Uh, Jeremy Rockcliffe just uh, uh, tweeting that uh, he's uh, making a round trip to Queensland to get one of his uh, daughters settled, but he'll be keeping across events. So I don't know if that tells you anything, but uh, interesting nonetheless, oh, Trudy. <laughs> Yeah, dangerous to leave the state, you'd have to say, whilst people are potentially doing the numbers against you, Laura, but he's got uh, personal issues he needs to do. It hasn't come at a great time to him, but incredibly destabilising to see this all played out. In the last few days, Jeremy Rockliffe said he wasn't going to have Parliament return at all until this had been resolved. Now an escalation in that saying, we will trigger this early election on Monday unless uh, Elise Archer essentially resigns mm. from Parliament. So a high-stakes game there in Tassie. Yep, Dad Judy's call and take precedence here. Very Interesting indeed. Trudy, mm -hmm. thanks so much. We'll check in soon.